Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Charlie and Sarah Kushner were horrified at the idea that their son might marry outside the faith, according to 2019 book Kushner Inc. Author Vicky Ward explained how they were even partly responsible for Ivanka and Jared's three month breakup in 2008. However, the pair were reunited on a boating trip, and not long after, Ivanka decided to convert. According to friends, Charlie was still skeptical about Ivanka and only went along with the con conversion because he felt he had no other choice. It was done on Charlie's terms under the instruction of Rabbi Haskell Luxstein, and then the Rabbi of Congregation Kiliad Jeshran on New York's Upper East Side. Rabbi Luxstein was a member of the Reb Pinnacle Council of America, which has certain influence over whether a conversion is considered legitimate. Family friend Bob Sumner claimed Charlie wanted to test Ivanka's devotion to Jared and their life together, so made the conversion as challenging as possible. He told Miss Ward, this wasn't like talk to a rabbi, read a couple of paragraphs. It was hard and it was on Charlie's terms. Despite this, Ivanka surpassed Charlie's expectations and soon both he and Cyril were soon effusive about her. Charlie apparently would explain to friends that Ivanka really wanted to be a Kushner because they were the close family she never had. The wedding took place on October 25, 2009 at Trump National Golf Club in Badminster, New Jersey. Guests included high-powered media figures, Hollywood celebrities, New York socialities, politicians, and vast array of real estate people. However, Ivanka's father, Donald Trump, is said to have been discombobulated and baffled by his daughter's conversion. He would later say to his political aide, Sam Nunberg, why should my daughter convert to marry anyone? The traditional Jewish nature of the wedding party, too, was a shock for Mr. Trump, according to a friend. Ivanka's dress covered her shoulders in keeping with conservative Jewish tradition. Women were given shawls when they arrived, and the sexes were asked to dance separately several times during the night. Mr. Trump was also less than complimentary about Jared and his family. He apparently thought Charlie was stupid because he spent time behind bars after being caught, up, caught by the feds. Charlie pleaded guilty in 2005 to 18 counts of aiding in the preparation of false tax returns, retaliating against the witness and making false statements to the Federal Election Commission. Mr. Trump also reportedly used to compare Jared to NFL player Tom Brady, saying to friends, why couldn't she have married Tom Brady? Have you seen how far he throws a football? He allegedly once said to Robert Kraft, who owns the New England Patriots, that Jared is half the size of Tom Brady's forearm. While a Monken's conversation was judged challenging by a family friend, the legitimacy of conversions carried out by Rabbi Luxton came under scrutiny after a woman who converted under his instruction was denied a marriage license in Israel. In Israel, if you're Jewish, you have to be married by an Orthodox rabbi, and the Orthodox rabbinical authorities will not grant a marriage license unless they certify the couple as Jewish. People from abroad whose parents were not married under the auspices of the rabbinate have to provide certification, usually from their congressional rabbis back home. Nicole Zittler, whose conversion was overseen by Rabbi Luxstein, was denied a license because her conversion was not deemed legitimate. After she appealed her case, it was upheld in July 2016 by Israel's Supreme Rabbinical Court, the highest religious court in the country. Thank you so much for joining us and see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.